welcome back to this new video tutorial today i am going to show you how you can generate automatic invoice number and date in microsoft excel as you see in the screen i have a simple invoice format where i need to generate the invoice number and invoice date automatically for this first of all insert a button by going to insert tab illustrations shapes then draw this shape over here this way then here you can write next invoice then place it here by dragging now when we click on this button the invoice number should automatically increase by one and the invoice date should be the current date or today's date so to do this for the invoice date use here a function that is today function press is equal to type today open parenthesis close parenthesis then press enter this gives the current date if you open this file tomorrow then this date will automatically update now for the invoice number we have to write a simple vva code for that right click on the sheet name click on view code then here create a sub procedure let me type here sub invoice auto generate open parenthesis close parenthesis then press enter this creates this sub procedure and here write this code range open parenthesis double quotation c4 this is the cell address where the invoice number is double quotation close parenthesis dot value is equal to range c4 dot value plus one this code will increase the value of invoice number by one every time we run this macro now close this coding window then right click on this button click on assign macro then select this macro we just created then click on ok now if you click on this button the invoice number one is given if you click again the invoice number two is given so by clicking on this next invoice button the invoice number will automatically generate here in this cell if you are looking for more automatic features in this invoicing template then you can watch a different video tutorial where i have created automatic invoicing with lots of additional features thank you so much for watching this video see you in next tutorial